And we do begin tonight with that rain that continues to fall across our area. Here's a live look at the first warm Doppler radar. It is a soggy Friday night. A flood watch continues into Saturday. And here are live images from the Chevy Storm Tracker. You can see those windshield wipers working overnight. Several accidents on the wet roads in the past few hours. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Fred Shropshire and I'm Brooke Katz in for Sarah French. Let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. He is tracking the rain hour by hour. Brad, when is this going to move out of here? We're going to see this move out tomorrow, but we've got a big batch of rain heading our way tonight and it's been a foggy, drizzly night. Look at the visibility. Most areas less than a couple of miles. So not only do we have low clouds, fog and drizzle, but we've got more rain moving in. The flood watch is up through 5 p.m. tomorrow. It's not going to expire until then because we've got a whole lot of rain heading your way. This has all been drizzle or mist this evening. You've been out in it. You know what I'm talking about. Look what's to our west though. Big band of heavy rain moving into the upstate of South Carolina in the Midlands of South Carolina as well. Look at that plume of moisture. This is going to be directed right at the mountains here in about two hours or so with all that heavy snow melt and this big slug of moisture moving in. That's when the flood potential will really increase overnight. So if you live in a flood prone area, low line, make sure you have your phone completely charged up to get any uh, warnings tonight because we're likely going to see some flash flooding. Look at that plume of moisture heading our way. There's the dry slot that arrives tomorrow with potential to dry us out a little bit, but that's not going to happen until the afternoon. You can see that drier air back there, but look at that big slug of moisture that has to move in tonight. So your hour by hour rain chances solidly 90 to 70% through about 8 a.m. That's when things start to improve a little bit tomorrow as rain chances go down. Coming up, I'll tell you when all of this mess gets out of here and when we'll actually see the sun coming up in that weekend forecast. Okay, Brett, thank you. Tonight, police and medic are busy responding to wrecks on the wet roads. NBC Charlotte's Evan West tracking road conditions out in the Chevy Storm Tracker. So, Evan, tell us where you are and how things are looking out there this evening. Brooke, we're in South Charlotte on South Boulevard right now. This is what we're looking like uh, at our looking at on our dash cam. It is a wet night. You know, this rain isn't necessarily intimidating to be out in, but it's rained all day, so the roads are completely soaked, and we want to show you what the scene looked like on uh, Albemarle Road earlier this night. A car actually slid into a power pole. Medic tells us that uh, there were no injuries in this, fortunately, but it really held up traffic for about four hours as Albemarle Road westbound was closed down. So you want to be careful if you're out on the roads tonight. Make sure you give yourself plenty of time before you get somewhere. I mean, a lot of places sneak up on you. And also with this rain, your visibility isn't what it is whenever it's not raining. So be safe tonight. Reporting live in the Chevy Storm Track, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. All right, you be safe out there too, Evan. Thank you for your reporting. Tonight's rain mixing with snow from the weekend storm causing some flooding in the mountains. Yeah, I want to show you some video right now. Take a look at this mess in Boone tonight. NBC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner joins us live right now with the very latest from the high country. Well, Fran Brooke, what we're seeing is a lot of standing water from the combination of the rain and the large piles of snow near the roadways, as well as low lying areas like the Boone Mall that are now flooded in parts. Watauga County DOT crews spent all morning and part of the afternoon clearing several inches of snow off the shoulders of roadways as well as on top of storm drains. County maintenance engineer Kevin Whittington says that salt his crew spread during the weekend is once again helping. We have so much salt and material probably on the edge of the roads. This rain is adding to it and it's allowing the water to make its way to our drainage structure. Despite their efforts, many roads and shopping centers still have towering piles of snow near the roadways. Some parking lots had pools of water, while the back part of the Boone Mall flooded. This afternoon, the U.S. government's water level gauge along the Watauga River spiked in just a short period of time. Whittington says even on roadways with some standing water, drivers need to be cautious. Puddles of water, they could hydroplane in that. Just be cautious of that throughout the county. And the Boone Fire Department is urging people to not drive through these flooded parts to turn around, don't drown. Reporting in Boone, I'm Brandon Goldner, NBC Charlotte. And remember, you can always find the latest on the weather at your fingertips inside the NBC Charlotte mobile app. You can find everything you need from interactive radar.